These haunting pictures show patients at a 19th century psychiatric hospital at a time when women were treated for hysteria, having shown symptoms that included nervousness and irritability. Images show women at the Sapleterre Hospital in Paris, France during the 1870s as medics tried to cure them and understand their disturbed state. By the mid-19th century, the medical unit was home to 5,000 women suffering from a number of conditions, most notably mental illness. For centuries, female hysteria was a common medical diagnosis with women forced to undergo treatment simply for having shown signs of shortness of breath, fluid retention or even just a tendency to cause trouble. Others were hospitalised for showing symptoms including faintness, nervousness, insomnia, heaviness in the abdomen or irritability. Many would have been sent for treatment at such units by their own families. Neurologist Jean-Marie Charcot became head of Sleptler Terre in 1862 and along with his student Paul Regnand, he captured portraits of scores of patients. Charcot became a pioneering figure in the understanding of hysteria and his photos of female patients were later compiled into a book of his findings. For centuries, female hysteria was a common medical diagnosis reserved exclusively for women. Up until the 19th century, it was widely believed to be connected to a womb which was out of place. Those diagnosed were often forced to enter an asylum or to undergo a surgical hysterectomy. However, during his time at Sepulterre, Charcot is credited with some degree of reform in treatment techniques. Under Charcot's guidance, Sepulterre female patients were treated through observation for the first time. Charcot talked to them, checked their reflexes, asked them to perform tasks, and everything would be noticed, sketched, or photographed. He initially believed that hysteria was a neurological disorder for which patients were predisposed by hereditary features of the nervous system. 